So after a weekend where the Phantoms win in Basingstoke but fall at home to the Swindon Wildcats, I've got the two Ferrara brothers, uh, James and Robert. And uh, Robbie, start with you. First of all, last night, hard place to go, Basingstoke, and to win on the in the way that we did. Perhaps it, again in adversity in a penalty shootout is a, is a terrific result. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Obviously, Basingstoke's a really tough place to go. I don't think many teams have gone there this year and, and got wins. So we did really well. Played a solid road game and, and made sure we got the points. Tonight uh, we've fallen against the Swindon Wildcats. I didn't think there was an awful lot wrong with our performance this evening. No, definitely not. The momentum swayed at times. At times they probably had the upper hand, and times we did. So it feels a bit harsh that I think we've come away with no points, but. I guess that's sport. So. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think uh, uh, th th we started with a great deal of intensity. I thought we played really quick out the blocks. I thought the, the line with uh, McEwen McHugh, McHugh and Susters was, was fast. Um, lots of power plays, uh, so many power plays through the game. And I think if there was a criticism that you might level, we were talking off air a minute ago, is that we perhaps didn't take those opportunities. And, uh, and ultimately, in a game like that, the Cats have taken a power play and, uh, and won by the single goal. Yeah, and that's what's decided the game in the end, I think. Um, obviously, when you get that many power plays in a game, you'd expect to, to at least get one, even against a good team and who kill well like Swindon. Um, I mean, a little disappointed that there were so many power plays in a game like tonight because I thought it was, a, as you said, you know, a, pr a pretty fair game, a pretty clean game considering um, the type of you know game it was. Um, I think both teams play pretty fair but pretty hard, and you know maybe there's a few calls here or there that I think meant that special teams were playing more than five on five and, and that meant you couldn't use the full bench and you know maybe ultimately that, that's gone against us slightly but uh, you know we, we've got to be capitalising on at least one of those power plays I think. And Robbie it puts the Wildcats I guess in the box seat they're, they're points ahead and although they've played more games than we have uh, we're chasing now. Well yeah it's obviously the table is as it is if they're top then, then they are in, in that, that lead seat but there's many, many games to go they've got a tough run in we've got tough games as well so fight's definitely not over. So. Oh, absolutely not, it's, it's there to be played for. Uh, James, I want to finish with you, uh, just really to, to come off the off the two games for, for over the weekend, uh, we, we can talk about the context of the season, but I uh, just wanted to say uh, congratulations, it was the 600th appearance last night, I understand, so 601 tonight, uh, it's uh, a testament to the contribution you make to the team. Thank you, you. yeah, thank you, um, obviously it's a... It's an achievement that I'll uh, I'll always look back on fondly. Um, you know, once whenever I stop playing hockey. But uh, um, I'm really, really pleased to have played so many games for this for this club. It is a great club, run by great people, with um, you know some amazing fans, and we've had some great players over the years. So um, I'm only able to still do what I do because of the people around me. And that includes the players and the management and the club itself, but also. Uh, my family and everyone supporting me so um, obviously it's really really proud and I'm really proud to have done it for this club for my hometown club and and for the people here and uh, you know I hope that uh, I look back at the end of this season fondly of it knowing that you know we've gone on to great success hopefully well let's not forget there's already silverware in the in the in the trophy cabinet yeah. there's a semi-final second leg and we lead on that and we're in Bratnell in a couple of weeks I think there'll be a lot of Phantoms fans go down to Bratnell yeah. and Robbie as you said it's all to play for. There's still the chance for lots of silverware for the Phantoms this year. Yeah, they've they've Swindon have dropped points against obviously Basingstoke and some of the other teams. Basingstoke have dropped points. So we're all we're all in the mix together. It's just who can keep a better run now from here to to the end of the season. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, look, I know it's always disappointing and, and tough doing these interviews after a defeat. Thanks for doing that, and uh, we'll see you next time round. Cheers.